Hey guys, welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we'll learn about preprocessors and macros. Remember this has include stdir.h. We have been using it in all our programs. Today, you will know the exact meaning of this line. So let's get started. So far, we have used this line in all of our program. In this line, has include is preprocessor directive that includes the stdio.h header file in our program. Basically, a preprocessor preprocess our program before it is being compiled. For example, this line adds the stdio.h file in our program before the execution of the program. There are different types of preprocessor and all of them are represented by the has symbol at the beginning. Let's start with the most common preprocessor. As mentioned earlier, the has include preprocessor is used to include external header file in our program. For example, has include stdio.h. This code includes the stdio.h file in our program. Similarly, has include math.h. This code includes the math.h file in our program. Once we add the header file in our program, we can use all the function present in the file. Remember printf and scanf? These functions were defined inside the stdio.h file. We are able to use this function because we have added the stdio.h file in our program. Similarly, we can use math function like sqrt and cbrt to compute the square root and cube root respectively. Once we include the math.h header file in our program. Let's see an example. Here is the basic C program. Since we will always be printing some values, I have already added the stdio.h file now let's add the math.h file. So here I'll add has include math.h header file. Now inside main, let's create a variable int number. So int number and I'll assign a value 36 to this. I'll now use sqrt function to compute the square root of this number. So I'll use sqrt bracket number. This function returns a double value. So I'll assign this to a variable. So double square root is equals to sqrt number. Now let me print the square root variable. I'll use printf statement printf bracket inside quotation percent dot two lf comma square root. Now I'll run this code. As you can see, we get square root of 36, which is six. Now let's find the cube root using CVRT function. I'll change this value of number from 36 to 125. And let me change this SQRT to CBRT. C CBRT. And I'll change this variable name from square root to cube root. I'll change the variable name in here as well. Now let's run this code. Now this time, you can see we get the cube root 5 of this number. By the way, do you want to take your programming journey to the next level? Watching tutorials is fine, but it has one limitation. It's hard to learn and practice together at the same time. Lucky for you, we recently launched Programmies Pro that provides tutorial along with quizzes and challenges, which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscriber, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. In C, the has defined preprocessor is used to define macros. For example, has defined PI 3.1415. Here, PI is a macro. A macro is a piece of code which is given a name. In our example, we have used PI to indicate the value 3.1415. Now, whenever we need to add the value in our code, we use PI. Let's see an example. Now, let me define PI macro. Has define PI 
now I'll print the value of pi inside the main so I'll use printf statement here print f inside quotation percent dot four lf comma pi sorry pi and I'll run this code as you can see we get the value 3.1415 when we print pi let's see one more example suppose I want to compute the area of circle I have already defined pi macro now let me create the radius variable first I'll create radius variable here double radius is equals to 12.4 and I'll now compute the area so here double area is equals to pi into radius into radius here I have used pi macro this will be replaced by the value 3.1415 now let me print the area I'll modify this print statement so I'll modify this print statement and I'll put here area I'll run this code you can see we have successfully computed the area of the triangle okay guys we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users youtube really likes engagement on the video so leave a comment below press that like button hit subscribe if you haven't already let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses as mentioned earlier macros are piece of code that is given some name hence we can also define a complete function as a macro let's see an example we have computed the area of circle instead of computing the area like this we can define a function macro that computes the area and use the code in our program let me show you here after the define pi i'll write here has define circle area parenthesis r another parenthesis i'll write here pi into r into r this is the macro function it takes the single parameter r that is the radius of the circle and computes the area now let's use this in our code to compute the area so i'll remove this pi into radius into radius from the code and i'll add here circle area and here radius so let me run this as you can see we get the same output now to revise what you have learned in this program here is a programming task for you create a program to find the square root of a number using the sqrt function and macro together here is how your program should work include the math.h header file define a macro function square root bracket n this macro function should use the sqrt function to find the square root of the parameter n inside the main function use the square root macro to compute the square root you will find the answer to this question in our github repository and also if you want to revise this concept all these programs will be there as well i'll put the link in the video description below now that we have reached the end of this video it's time for program quiz. what symbol is used to begin a preprocessor directive comment your answer below see you in the next video happy programming